Hello everybody, hope you're doing great and are ready for some Volcano updates. What has happened since my last Volcano update video? Well, a sudden spike in earthquakes very close to the capital sprung up yesterday. It was in no way intense, but it's how the pattern of the earthquakes lies that is a bit surprising. The earthquake activity in Borgarfjörður continues, which by now if you've watched my last two volcano update videos, isn't much of a surprise. Other than that, it's been rather quiet, at least underground. I say that because we had a nasty storm last weekend that caused a lot of trouble. The ones that suffered the most though, were a group of 29,000 redfish or red ocean perch that all lied dead on Stora Sandvik beach. They must have gotten flung out of the ocean in the up to 20 meter high waves. Rest in peace. Enough of that. Let's check out the data and detail section. So, as I said, the pattern of the earthquakes is unusual. You can see by looking at an earthquake map that the earthquake pattern lies vertically compared to other patterns on the peninsula. We normally see the patterns lie from southwest to northwest, but this pattern goes from south to north. As of the making of this video, we haven't gotten much from our experts, which implies that there is probably nothing magma related going on there, which is good. If this were signs of a new magma intrusion, we could end up with an eruption almost in the capital. There was one earthquake noticeably larger than the others that came first. It was 2.1 in magnitude and all the other quakes were follow-up earthquakes, under 1.5 in magnitude. If you look at the earthquake map again and look at the pattern, you can see that it's spread out. Where is spread out? The spread is surprising, considering the main earthquake was only 2.1 in magnitude. But this implies that there is a lot of pressure there to be released. And that means we could see more earthquakes there and maybe of greater size. But what is making these earthquakes break the rules? Well, the Reykjanes Peninsula has a lot of faults that can build up pressure over time. This activity is quite the way off the main plate boundaries, but it's normal to have occasional spikes like these, with the activity in Borgafjörður being a great example. At the moment, this activity isn't related to magmatic activity. But this area can produce eruptions and is a part of the Brennisteinsfjöll volcano system, which has produced most of the peninsula's eruptions in the last 10,000 years. So in short, these earthquakes have an unusual pattern which can't be fully explained, but the fact that the activity is so spread out implies that there is a lot of pressure in this area that could be released soon, maybe with larger earthquakes. At the moment, this has nothing to do with magmatic activity, but you never know what happens in the future. The reason activity in Iceland doesn't call for a speculation and prediction section, so I'm leaving that out for today. I just want to thank everyone who made it here. Definitely leave any speculations and questions in the comments. It's always fun to read them. Other than that, I just hope you enjoyed. I also hope to see most of you in the next video, and thanks for watching.